All right, on today's episode of Does It Run on Linux Mint, The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. Um, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to make it short, but I have this here GPU. It's a GTX 1660 Ti that I uh, pulled out of the dump. Anyway, I'm going to give that away. I'll try to make this a very short video here. So, uh, yeah, put this up here. Um, yeah. In blasphemous fashion, I'm going to use Steam to run a Nintendo game on a PC using a PlayStation controller. Uh, I do own this game, the legit cartridge, and uh, if you've played this on Nintendo 64, you know that this plays at like 15 frames per second. But this PC port here, it'll run at your monitor's refresh rate, so if you have it set to 120 hertz or whatever you get 120 frames per second anyway uh there's a lot of cool uh enhancements i'll show you a couple of them here load this up all right Let's see hold on let me something i i used to notice with emulation is that this fucking pause menu was uh really janky but uh yeah anyway yeah anyway uh so you see here on screen there's that fairy that indicates that there's one of those children over there i'm gonna go to the enhancements and i'm gonna turn on the disable draw distance and coke redraw distance and now you can see those guys because it's not limited to the Nintendo 64's uh, hardware. So you can see them at any distance. <clears throat> but yeah. This, uh... This thing runs fantastic. Go see this dude. Alright. Alright. And that's it. Um, I'd play it more, but I mean, you you get the gist of it. This thing runs so so rock solid that it's like, I think anything can run this. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. And uh, I bought this GPU here twice a week. Here, I'll I'll set this so you can take a look at this as close as possible. So twice a week, I go to the dump and I uh, pick up shit like this. If it looks decent, I'll bring it home and test it. And uh, if it works, I mean, somebody can use it. So if somebody out there has like a GT730 or something and they need an upgrade, you can have this. I will ship it to you for free. You can just have it. Um, but what I don't want is I don't want like somebody saying that they need this and uh, really they just want to sell it for $80 or something. Those people, you can go fuck yourself. I, I would prefer to give that to somebody who can use it. I also pick up shit like that computer that's behind me, like uh, retro computers. That's my jam. Um, like, I already have what I want, but if I f see something that's nice, I'll pick it up anyway and I'll bring it home. Uh, like behind this green screen right here, I have a Pentium 1 machine. It's 120 megahertz and uh, it just doesn't have a drive. And it seems to work fine, but uh, that's no problem. I mean, if somebody would want that, you know, I'd give that away too. I have no use for it, really. Um, and being that there's no drive, just spending a couple dollars on Amazon, you can, you know, get around that. Anyway, um, yeah. I actually found a, uh, two weeks ago, I found a two terabyte solid state drive at the dump and it was never used before. It had never been plugged in. And I, uh, I gave it to my nephew just about a week ago or a few days ago for his, uh, his games library. So yeah, if, if uh, this is something you need, let me know. And if there's something else that somebody needs, say it and I'll look for it at the dump because there's a lot of things there that I, I don't bother taking, you know. I've seen a couple computers there. They have like Core i7s and stuff. It's just like if it's a Core i7 from, like, the seventh generation or older, it's kind of, like, you know, still usable, but whatever. Yeah, let me know, and uh, I'll hook you guys up. 
and uh, that's going to do it.